As for Iran, our objective is clear. Iran shall never possess any nuclear weapons. <laughs> not now, not in five years, not in 10 years, never. But this policy should never lead us to war in the Middle East. We must ensure stability and respect sovereignty of the nations, including that one of Iran, which represents a great civilization. Let us not replicate past mistakes in the region. Let us not be naive on one side. Let us not create new wars ourselves on the other side. There is an existing framework called the JCPOA to control the nuclear activity of Iran. We signed it at the initiative of the United States. We signed it both the United States and France. That is why we cannot say we should get rid of it like that. But it is true to say that this agreement may not address all concerns and very important concerns. This is true. But we should not abandon it without having something substantial and more substantial instead. That's my position. That's why France will not leave the JCPOA, because we signed it. Your president and your country will have to take in the current days and weeks its own responsibilities regarding this issue. But what I want to do, and what we decided together with your president, is that we can work on a more comprehensive deal addressing all this concern. That is why we have to work on this more comprehensive deal based, as discussed with President Trump yesterday, on four pillars. The substance of the existing agreement, especially if you decide to leave it. The post-2025 period, in order to be sure that we will never have any nuclear activity for Iran. The containment of the military influence of the Iranian regime in the region and the monitoring of ballistic activity. I think these four pillars, the one I addressed in front of the General Assembly of the United Nations last September, are the one which cover the legitimate fears of the United States and our allies in the region. I think we have to start working now on these four pillars to build this new comprehensive deal and to be sure that whatever the decision of the United States will be, we will not leave the floor to the absence of rule. We will not leave the floor to this conflict of powers in the Middle East. We will not fuel ourselves in increasing tensions and potential war. That's my position, and I think we can work together 
to build this comprehensive deal for the whole region, our people, because I think it fairly addresses